Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Silver Court today here in Chimsha Choi Canton Road, and we're about to go to one of the most famous Chinese restaurants all over the place. I definitely believe in Australia, not maybe not in Perth, but in Australia for sure we have this shop, Ding Tai Fong, which is at the top here. So that's why we're gonna go to uh, eat at Ding Tai Fong today. This is the Hong Kong one, but well, it's still, yeah. You guys can uh, relate to the Australian one if you guys have it over there. I don't really know actually, but I think they should have in Australia because it's such a famous Chinese restaurant. Well, let's get up there. All right, time for some Xiao Long Bao and some Chinese food. All right, made it inside. And uh, let's get started. Hungry, so a lot of food has been ordered and uh, there's one in Sydney, so that's what. That's the only one in Australia, so. But at least there are in Australia, so that's why we're good. Let's get started. how juicy this thing is. One more. Yeah, usually you should add in vinegar, but I don't like vinegar, so no thanks. That's how this thing goes. Whenever the thing comes, they just take it out. So, and drunken chicken. One of my favorite things to eat is drunken chicken. The thing is, if the uh, wine is a little too rich, then it might have a little bit of bitter taste. But uh, this is one of Chinese signatures. I don't now for kids. It's okay if you actually eat this, but just don't eat too much and don't drink the wine in here. Mm. Oh, perfectly marinated with the wine. It's the taste of Shao's Jin wine. So oh, that's fine. Chinese wine. Normally not used for drinking. It's mostly for cooking and in dishes. Taiwanese beef noodles. In Taiwan, there should be like two choices, but over here only one, which is the uh, braised style. There's the other one, which is a, uh, it's a not spicy soup. And also we have the uh, wonton soup in as well. All right, time for some beef noodles. Mm. Just how it goes. Mm. Slightly spicy, with a little bit of kick to it. But look at the size of this beef. The meat here, wow. Mmm. Ah. Tendons. Raised to perfection. Mm. 
and more plates. Shuma here, and the signature must order fried rice. But the thing is, the size definitely have decreased because before if they use a big plate, but now it's just that. It's like one scoop, but that's okay. Alright, but first let's try the wonton soup here. Oh my gosh, wonton. Hard to grab. Okay, not the best though. The soup is good though. The one tongue, the um, the skin is a little too tough. A little tough for me. Can be a little bit more like cooked. But the soup is good though with ginger, which is very healthy. Shumai, but this shumai they have filled it with not shrimp, but they filled it in with glutinous rice, which is not my favorite. So that's why let's just try it out. Mm. A little weird for my liking. Not my style, that's for sure. Fried rice time. The signature fried rice. Of course it's gonna be delicious. With enough spring onions and some egg. That's basically Mm, perfect. And with shrimps too. Wonderful. Mm. But if I have to pick a uh, number one menu for the day, of course it's Shurum Chalumbao. But this soup is also wonderful. Mm. The thing is, the most stupid thing that just happened is the menu, they have removed one of my favorite menus on the for Shanghai cuisine, which is so dumb. Why they actually need to remove that? Oh my gosh, the, uh, that one's like a, like a, some sort of a tofu, but I need to search online for the name. Well, the dish is called uh, wheat gluten, which is a side dish. It's a warm side dish, but unfortunately, you clearly see it's the gluten, so that's why. It's like a tofu, it's some kind of starch. Very delicious, one of my favorite dishes. But they originally have it, but they have removed it, which is so stupid. I made it outside very full right now and uh, very satisfactory they have not, there are actually five shops here in Hong Kong this is the one of the main branch here in Hong Kong but there's one in Sydney I think there are more in Sydney and uh, overall given four out of four point five out of five that is for sure everything tastes wonderful it's all of my taste except the uh, the shiu mai yeah but uh yeah so in Hong Kong there's one in Sha Tin there's one in Tun Moon there are two in Chim Sha Choi and there's one in Causeway Bay, so that's why whichever suits you, you can go to that one. Remember to like and subscribe, click the bell so that you get notifications for my posts. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on these videos right here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!